What are the strategies that you use to move forward in your days? Are you aware of the amazing abilities that you can obtain by simplifying your choices and not having a lot of tasks in one day? We have to start being more realistic on the things that we want to achieve every day if we want more power of concentration and more moving the needle in the right direction. Oftentimes in our lives, we want to cover many things in our tasks and we make huge lists of to-do things. However, expanding more choices just overwhelms your mind, resting creative power and increasing the pressure that you have to accomplish them. And of course, with that comes more pressure in terms of stress and more releasing of cortisol. Instead, you can always think more strat strategically to reduce the waste, to reduce the number of tasks and the distractions and focus on the things that you are doing and the activities that will allow you to move forward in your everyday job or in your tasks. So. This is a discussion that is based on the book of 18 minutes by Peter Bregman. And we are going to dive deep, deep in this power of taking action when we have fewer options, when we just align, align ourselves to have one or two tasks, we can accomplish a lot more because we are going to finish those tasks and we are going to feel the rewarding system we are going to create more dopamine and we are going to focus our power in the things that we want to do instead of just expanding the attention on multiple choices and multiple distractions and just wasting your time not doing anything and in the end feeling frustrated because you didn't accomplish any of the tasks. And this is what happens in many jobs nowadays. And it will keep happening if you don't have the power of assigning priorities, assigning time to reflect, to pause and to plan your days and to assign time and blocks of um, work so that you can progress in spite of having distractions, in spite of having things that you are just building up and putting the things in perspective, trying to allow you to lead to new possibilities, to ex expand your mind and to uh, align yourself into a focus mode and not in the autopilot mode. Whenever we have distractions and we have multiple things to do, that old saying of multitasking that is not possible, even if you are a woman, that is not possible. Our brains are designed to focus on one single task. And if we finish those tasks, we are going to have much more rewards than just accomplishing nothing because you have multiple things or you are trying to pay attention to multiple things. You many times end up frustrating yourself and having problems with other people just by trying to do those multitasking system. In addition to that, you are biasing your brain to distract more easily. So that is going to create a toxic cycle of distractions. And that's why we have seen that people now have a span of attention of three minutes or even less, even one minute. That's why the popular videos of these platforms, social platforms like TikTok or Instagram, they are just made for one minute because people are not able to pay attention more than that. And that, that is happening just because we are creating a loop of toxicity in our brains that have a lot of things to do, that have a lot of distraction, notifications, things that you are having in the background, but things that are draining your brain energy and leading you to have much more distraction. And that is happening also in children. Nowadays, children don't have a really strong 
focus of attention because they are born into a digital stage that has a lot of information and distractions. And we as parents don't know how to put the limit boundary on those things that they are going to be distracted by them. So what we have to do is start focusing more on single task. And by doing that, you are having energy brain power, you are having more attention, and you are having more productivity. Once you fin finish one task, you can move on to the next, you can move on to the next, and you are doing three things in your brain. You are allowing space, you are allowing productivity, you are allowing reward, and you are increasing the power of attention. So the next time that you are watching a lecture, watching a video, listening to a podcast or listening to an audiobook, you will be able to pay much more attention and your memory in addition will be improved because you will create connection, synapses. We need time, we need the amount, the proper amount of neurotransmitters to have that power of connections. So if you don't want to be a zombie-like person, you can still do something for your brain before it's too late, before it is controlled by all of these uh, algorithms and tracking systems that the companies have and that they are just priming your brain because they know that you don't have attention and they know that if they send you a notification of something that is going to emotionally prime you, you are going to be distracted. So instead of being prey of these notifications and distractions, you have your own power, you control your brain, and you can allow it to be the way it has to be and the way it is built and the way your connections and your neurons and your pathways are working properly, not the way other people want you to be. I hope that these tips work for you and I hope that you really take seriously the energy that you are wasting many times and the brain that you are constructing and remodeling by allowing so much distractions and not having the power of concentrating in one single task and allowing the neurotransmitters to release properly and to lower the amount of cortisol and stress. Thank you very much for paying attention, for being here connected, Mia, Marilo, and other people that are, where, that are there. I'll see you next week and have a wonderful middle of the week. Bye.